<laughs> Why, hello there, my little hunter. Oh, you look very, very exhausted. Did you get any sleep? I hear hunters are supposed to have their rest and that they sleep very well. And from the looks of it, you look as if you're dying. I try feeding you, but it doesn't look like you're in much of an appetite anymore ever since you've been caught. Hmm. You should be thankful, Hunter. I am taking care of you. I could have drained you dry the day that I caught you. I think you're just being over dramatic. Hmm. But I am concerned. Let me check your head real fast. Hmm. It's awfully warm. Are you running a fever? Hmm. Your nose looks a little runny. How about your throat? Can you open your mouth for me? Come on, I need to check it out. Or do I have to bite my fangs into that pretty throat of yours just to find out? <laughs> That's what I thought. Now open. Very dry and red. Hmm. Well, it seems like you've got the flu. Are you cold? Mm, poor thing. I think you really are sick then. Hmm. I guess I should take care of that. Hmm. But can I trust you? Or are you making this up? I don't know if humans can make up a cold or being sick. From what I hear, children don't like going to school. So they try to make up an excuse, such as being sick. But then again, you do look really bad. Please tell me this is not a trick. Because if it is, I will end you so fast that I can drain you dry. Understand? <laughs> That's my good pet. Hmm. I do have to keep you in a warm place. I know just the thing. However, I don't trust you yet. I'm gonna have to put this collar around you. Come on, don't fight it. It's either that or I use one of my crops. I don't think you would want that, do you? Don't worry, this collar is very gentle. It won't hurt your throat. Let me just... There we go. See? That wasn't so bad, now was it? <laughs> Such a cute hunter. Now oh, come on. Let's go upstairs. Come on, lay down by the fire now, will you? What is it this time, pet? Huh? What's that? You want to be comfy? There's a rug right in front of the fireplace. Isn't that good enough for you? Well, then again, you are sick. All right, I have a little bed. Just for you, Hunter. I always have a bed for my blood bags. There we go. See? It's a nice little mattress just for you. Now can you lay down? 
Mm, good. That's what I like to see. My pet being obedient. <laughs> I know you're glaring at me. You better get used to it, pet. Well, now that you're kind of still shivering, I better give you a blanket. There we go. I usually don't treat my blood bags this way. However, I can't keep you from getting sick and dying on me. I need your blood. <laughs> now, since you're human and I don't know what to make for you, what do you want to eat? Something that can soothe your well-being in your throat? Hmm? What's that? You're gonna have to be clear, pet. What is it that you want? Hmm. Interesting. I've never even heard of that, but I'll try my best to make that for you. <sighs> and what to drink? I have never heard of that kind of drink, but I will make that for you too. I'm counting on you, pet. One wrong move. Like I said, I have my make you submit to me so easily and as I mentioned before I'll drain you dry got it and besides it is snowing outside you'll freeze to death out there mm, that'd make it boring for me but I don't think you want that either so behave yourself hunter Pets, here's what you asked for, and then here's your favorite drink. Hmm, I find it very interesting how human food is just so weird, if I may say. To me, it tastes like bland, well, as if I'm eating pencil shavings. Yeah, it's that dull. Um, I don't have any seasonings just because of the salt. I'm allergic to it. But here, have the special seasoning. Are you seriously going to give me that look? I'm not going to poison you. Besides, I can't. Your blood would taste disgusting. And if I were to plan to kill you, I would have done it already. So be grateful and eat up. <laughs> and that's what I thought. Hmm. Am I going to feed you afterwards? Well, that depends on how, how you feel afterwards. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to get sick either. But that doesn't stop me from being near you, my little plaything. I may be a cold blooded vampire, but I do care. You may not realize that or see it that way, but I do. Besides, you're the only pet that I ever taken care of. All the other hunters that have tracked me down, I've drained them dry immediately. Just because they're lame, pathetic, and worthless. You, on the other hand, are not. You're barely competent, 
so I guess that makes me intrigued. <laughs> By the way, how's your food? Does it taste good? Well, I hope it's helping you feel better from the looks of it. It does look like you're feeling better. And I hope the fire is helping too. I gotta admit, you're very high maintenance. What do I mean? I mean, look at you. You're complaining about being on the rug earlier. I had to get you a bed. And you gave me the look when I told you to get on the bed as if you wanted the blankets. So yeah, I got you the blankets. And you looked like you were happy. And the way how you requested your food and the kind of food that you wanted, being specific about it, that's too much. Unless if you're doing that on purpose for me to take good care of you and I don't know, maybe you have feelings for me. <laughs> that was a joke, Pat. I would never fall in love with a hunter or a human. That's just disgusting, in my opinion. Even if you are falling for me, well, that's just so much fun because I can tease you about it. <laughs> mm, but then again, Stockholm Syndrome is real. <laughs> are you done then? Mm, good. Let me take care of those plates and that drink for you. You finished it, right? Of course you did. I'll take those and I'll be right back. Okay. Didn't take that long and... Hunter, what are you doing? You're literally sitting on my seat? For real? I don't recall you. Pets being allowed on the furniture. So get off now, pet. <laughs> Good. I forgot. You're very needy. What's that? You want head pets? Hmm. You're gonna have to beg for me, Hunter, in order to do that. <laughs> mm, I like you begging. I suppose you do earn it. Come here. You seem so tense, pet. Is it just because I'm touching you with my nails? <laughs> well, it's a good reminder that I own you. You have no freedom. How does that feel? <laughs> Typical. But I'll admit... You're very wonderful, Hunter. Now, just close your eyes. <laughs> 